Hey, Zach. Uh, sorry about the, uh, the fan. Hopefully it's not too loud. But, um, I think it was a couple months ago you made a video about cap, not capitalism, uh, globalism, globalization. And, um, you know, I had some, uh, some negative things to say about it, but also some, some positive things. Um, for instance, I'm glad that we have access to pretty much every culture that has existed on the planet, uh, you know, that we have historical records for, at least. You know, I know about Chinese uh, culture, I know about African culture, I know about European, Russian, South American, Australian culture, whereas, you know, um, 8,000 years ago, all I would have known about what it means to be human is what my tribe had developed. Um, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with being more uh, enclosed in, in that kind of system. I mean, that's where humanity was 8,000 years ago. Um, but now that we see the diversity that's possible, uh, you know, in regards to human expression, human spirituality, uh, human ways of knowing, because there are many, uh, you know, we civilized Western peoples like to talk about uh, rationality as the pinnacle, um, and certainly it has its uses, and, uh, you know, I'm glad that I have access to, to what we call the rational mind, the rational way of knowing, but it is by no means, uh, it has by no means a, a monopoly on, uh, on knowledge, on knowing, on you know, the way human beings can genuinely and legitimately relate to other human beings and to nature. Uh, when we take rationality as the be-all and end-all, um, we end up with, you know, ecological degradation because, you know, rationally, all that really matters is the human economy, right? And it's a linear process you take from nature make it into something useful to humans, and then you, when you're done, you, you throw it out. And this is supposed to go on infinitely because, you know, the goal of, of all capitalist, human, civilized economies is exponential growth forever. And, you know, obviously, this doesn't work. And we all, all of us who aren't completely delusional, at least, know that this cannot continue for much longer. Um, and, you know, there are some downsides to, to uh, globalization, and, and that's that's one of them. You know, um, you know the positive is we get access to to all of human culture. The downside is that um, many undeveloped cultures get exploited by Western powers, banking interests. You know, the IMF, the World Bank, they force these countries into debt. Um, you know, India is a good example during the Green Revolution. Uh, Monsanto pretty much uh, sold the idea to these farmers that, you know, we'll sell you our GMO seeds plus the uh, oil-based fertilizers and uh, pesticides that are required. And, uh, you know, you'll be more prosperous and uh, everything will be great. You know, it'll be a new future and everything will be wonderful. And it didn't exactly turn out that that well. You know, right now as we speak, uh, more farmers are committing suicide in India than at any point in, in, you know, recorded history because they can't afford to pay the debts that they owe to Monsanto. Uh, you know, the groundwater is poisoned because the pesticides leak into the streams and the rivers. Uh, it's just, it's a bad situation. And it ended up this way because the corporation doesn't really care um, about anything but their profit margins. They don't care about maintaining a traditional culture. They don't care about the well-being of the people, uh, the people they're selling their product to. They care about their profits. And they're doing quite well. Uh, they own, they, they have a patent on 70% of the seeds that are sown in the world. So, um, you know, and this is, this is monoculture type, ag this is agriculture on steroids. Uh, and it's very dangerous because if there is some disease that comes along that uh, that likes the genome in the seed for wheat or corn or whatever GMO crop it is that Monsanto has produced, it's going to destroy all of it because it's all genetically identical. Unlike traditional agriculture where you have a lot of diversity, you know, every town 
every village has its own seeds and they keep those seeds in in their area and, and pass them along from you know generation to generation um, all of this is, has been lost for the most part because of you know I don't know what you want to call it, the civilizational process, the capitalist process, maybe. Um, so there are downsides to globalization, certainly. But I think it really comes down to an attitude. Um, the civilized capitalist attitude towards nature is, it's just a collection of, of raw materials to be produced and consumed and thrown away. It has no inherent value but the value we give it, right? Um, you know, I, I really, I think that's disgusting. You know, you came from this planet. You grew out of it. Uh, it is your mother. Not in a metaphorical sense, quite literally, actually. And, uh, to see it as just a collection of resources without value unless they are useful to human beings. Um, it just shows, you know, to me, not only a total lack of understanding of, you know, ecology, of, of the Gaian system that we're part of, but just disrespect for your roots. And that's the change in attitude I think we need. You know, we can talk about walking away from civilization and all these metaphors, but it's really, I think, it comes down to a change in attitude. How we relate to each other and to nature in general. But it's all nature. Um, we're kind of we're kind of afraid of it. We think we can do better, I think. That seems to be the, the driving motivation behind all of this civilization is we think we're special. We think our technologies allow us to transcend it all. And um, we haven't done a very good job so far, I don't think. I mean, yeah, the quantity of our average lifespan has increased. But the quality? You know, I can't answer that for the rest of you. But, uh, you know, I have my doubts about whether or not the quality of life has increased in, uh, you know, modern Western civilized society. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, chime in with a little bit of my thoughts. So, uh... Hopefully it uh, was insightful, but uh, let me know what you thought. Take it easy.